Hi, welcome to Calypso Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll see how to display data on a table control. There's two ways of creating a table control. You can either create the control from scratch by dragging it from the toolbar, or you can drag the database table you want to display from the project tree. When we drop the database table, a wizard comes up and we are going to select the first option, create a table control. Now we select the columns we want. I'm going to uncheck them all and just select code and name. Press done and the control is automatically created. Let's adjust its size and position. Now double click to access its properties. If we switch to the content tab, we'll see that the table control is set to be filled with tables. This means that the table control can display data from several database tables. If you check out the physical columns, there's two of them, and by double clicking the first one, we see that it's called code, displays the title code, and it's linked to the database table customers, column code. We cancel, double click the second one, we see that it's called name, displays the title name, and it's linked to the database table customers, column name. So, Calypso knows how to display data in this control, due to these properties. What he doesn't know is when. Calypso will only fill this control when we tell him to. Let's save and access the from properties, by double clicking the background, which can be difficult, pressing the form button in the toolbar or Ctrl plus F3. If we switch to the actions tab, we see that we can define actions in the opening of the form. The action we want is refresh control. I'm going to type it. We select the control we want to refresh and press save. You can manage this as you wish, but we don't want that for now. Still, it can be annoying having all these lines just because of one action, so we can collapse them into the refresh control. Let's press save and we are ready to go. I'm going to launch the simulator to see the result. And here you go, data on the form. Don't forget that this was possible only because we set the MIS communicator in the tutorial about communication profiles. We now want to create a table control for an offline database table. Since there's no more space in the current form to create another table control, let's create a new form. We'll call it form products. Let's give it a title. We are going to need an exit button, so let's double click this one and add close form in its actions. So, all that is left now is to repeat the previous process. We drag the database table onto the form, we select the first option, now we select the columns we want, and press done. Just like before, we adjust its size and position, and also we need the refresh control action. Let's add it to the open form event. All set. I'm going to start by renaming form main to form customers. Now let's rename the title labels. This one to customers. And this one to products. I'm going to pull all of this aside. Create a new form. We now have two forms and no way to open the second one and it doesn't make sense to open one from the other. So, let's create a menu form. We'll call it form menu. Set the title to menu. We'll set this as the first form. Calypso now prompts us about switching the first form and we'll say yes. And press save. Let's also change this label to menu. Let's replace this button with one that already has a close form. 
Now I'm going to show you a quick way of creating a button to open a form. Start by selecting the form you want to open. As you can see, it's not selected in the project tree. All we have to do now is drag it to the menu form. The button is created and we repeat the process for the other form. Select the products form, drag it and the button is created. Let's rearrange the controls and the forms. So, all set for us to try our application. We now see the form menu. If you try to open the customer's form, everything is working as expected. We close and when trying to open the form products, we see that no data is displayed. What could have possibly gone wrong? Actually, nothing. Notice that the customer's table is online, so all data is retrieved in real time from the server. On the other hand, the products table is offline, meaning that data is retrieved from the local database, so we need to synchronize it with the server in order to have local data. You can check that that's the reason by querying the local database using the trace window. Double click products, execute, see, no results. The good news is that we don't need to worry about synchronization just yet. Back to the designer, let's test our application again. Check out this option, it allows us to send data along with the project to the simulator. And it's not demo data. Calypso will actually go to the server and fetch the data from the offline tables. Let's check it and press test. Customers, online data. If we now open the products form, we have offline data. We can even execute the SQL button to see the records on the local database. Congratulations, you've concluded the tutorial about displaying data. See you on the next one.